Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly Oracle reading for the week of July 11th through the 18th. I'm Sarah from Divinely You. Divinely You is all aspects of you that make you divinely unique. And speaking of unique, uh, something I wanted to share this week is a unique thing about me. Maybe you're new to my channel. Maybe you're new to following me. So you may not know that I am legally blind. And so I use an app on my phone with a, that has, that's a magnifier to allow me to read the Oracle cards. And so I thought I would share that with you this week. Um, okay, let's dive into this. Uh, yeah, I was thinking there was something more I wanted to say, but not yet. Okay, so we got the, <laughs> we got the Helen card. This is the beauty card. And this is kind of multi, this is sort of a two uh, dualistic card in that we have the divine feminine inner beauty, but then we have the illusion of the outer beauty that's a distraction to maybe some inner darkness. And so we have the um, the swan on the card that's actually Zeus in disguise. And so a uh, couple things here, the divine inner beauty, the divine feminine beauty during that cancer new moon that we recently had was an activation of the divine feminine of the rise of the divine feminine and so that's very interesting that this card came up and then with regard to the um the distraction of the outer beauty we have a full moon this week in capricorn which is your sign and you know uh capricorn is systems structures uh and government and things like that and so as this full moon starts to illuminate we may see or you may see even in your own life um you know things coming to light where we see past some distracted or illusioned uh external beauty and see what's actually going on on the inside so it could be a lot of interesting things come up this week we'll just have to see Additionally, we have on Monday, uh, the 11th, is the Pluto return of the United States of America. And so what that means is that Pluto will be in the exact spot that it was when the Declaration of Independence was signed for America. So lots of big, cool energy this week. Let's see what's in the cards for Capricorn. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I love when the full moon is my sign or my opposing sign. So I'm an Aquarius with an opposing Leo, and I love Aquarian Leo lunation cycle. So hopefully you love your full moon this week. Let's see what's in the Believe in Your Own Magic for Capricorn this week. We got the, <clears throat> the nostalgia card being in the present. Yeah, so this may be a lot of release. A lot of things may be exposed for you or illuminated for you to see maybe and, and to be able to let those things go so that you can live more in the present um, and be present. You know, you can consciously and actively be mentally present to what's going on. Maybe it's a, it may be as simple as like not multitasking, right? When we're multitasking, we're not present. Um, but it could be more, uh, more of a, you're holding on to something old, some past, you know, relationships, past situations, and it's time to let those go and be in the present and be fully consciously aware of the world around you. Um, because that will, when you're, once you're consciously aware of the world around you, it kind of does help illuminate or bring light to the things that you've maybe been illusioned by, or that you've been sort of, oh, it's fine, you know, and it's all good. And it's really not all good. And so that could be some of that, you know, swan disguising, um, Zeus type energy going on for you. Let's see what's in the sacral chakra oracle for you we have the um i believe the attachment card and so yeah so maybe this is like your pay attention to what you're attaching yourself to you know another oh this is interesting another part of this illusion 
of beauty is being distracted in lust or in, um, you know, maybe like, I want to say dangerous passions, like <laughs> um, fatal attraction comes to mind. Um, but so paying attention to what you're attaching to, are you actually in a relationship or are you just in a lust? Are you just in something superficial? Um, and really like allowing that to be brought to light because when you release and let go of the things, the nostalgia, the old ways of being, um, you allow the love to actually flood into your life. So I feel like this is really working together here in that it's a process of um, noticing where you may be attaching to a relationship or a thing. Maybe this is a job. This could be anything. I'm using relationship because it's a general term, meaning, you know, we're in relationship with other people, with a career, with a job, with a, you know, whatever, maybe it's a home, maybe, you know, whatever it is, or maybe it's just possessions that you're attached to, that it's time to release and let those go so that you can allow beautiful divine love to come in to your world and so what a powerful reading for capricorn holy cow uh i'm <laughs> i really love that i really love that um because this is this is a, a distraction right when we see something beautiful if you see a hot dude or a hot chick you're like, damn, she's hot. He's hot. I gotta, I gotta jump her bones. I gotta jump his bones. And you end up in a lustful, you know, passion relationship, which is all fun and games until you're like attached to that person thinking that you're in love with that person when really you're just in a lust relationship. And so maybe it's time to give up those habits and, you know, chain, you know, move into a new divine space of allowing yourself to be in a more committed love-centered, intimate, divine um, relationship. So powerful reading for you. I hope that was helpful. I'm sending you a lot of love. I appreciate you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next reading. Oops. Stop recording now.